Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a car and you have a problem where the coolant is coming out of the overflow bottle or coolant is coming out of the radiator cap. Stay with us, we will explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. Now in some cases it could be something super simple but if you don't fix it on time you can say bye bye to your engine and uh, that can cost you guys quite a bit of money. And in some cases you will fix it without actually spending a single dollar. So make sure to stand till the end and we will explain and what it could be. Now, important thing is to fix it on time. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, cool and anything for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So with that being said, let's explain what can easily cause that. This is the coolant overflow bottle that we have here. We'll be demonstrating on a Hyundai engine, but the procedure is practically the same for all vehicles, guys. Gasoline, diesels as well, because they'll use coolant just to cool the, the engine. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, uh, let me tell you, this is a coolant overflow bottle. Usually it's connected to the radiator. Some cars will have that, some do not. Uh, if coolant is coming from the radiator cap, it could be two things. One could be failing radiator cap that does not keep enough pressure or the seal or valve is broken. And the same thing can apply if coolant is coming out of your over overflow bottle because the radiator cap will not keep pressure. Number two, okay, uh, could be something completely different. Now, that's where things get interesting. Uh, let's uh, explain now, guys. Okay, if you recently did Let's say a uh, thermostat replacement, the uh, coolant temperature sensor, radiator, radiator holes, anything that involved draining your coolant or you had to flush your cooling system, anything that involved draining the coolant out of the radi radiator to maybe replace a part, then let's say you just added coolant and you started driving the car and you notice that coolant started coming out, it could be su super simple uh, solution as long as you didn't overheat your car. If you just add coolant and start driving, you can, you can end up having an air pocket inside the, um, the engine block. Okay, let's turn the cylinder head upside down. I want to show you something. Uh, the cylinder head has multiple, uh, uh, multiple coolant passages inside as well. So let's go ahead, flip it on the side and I want to explain to you, okay, right here and uh, everywhere here you can get coolant trapped in these holes and in the cylinder head and if it gets trapped what will happen uh, coolant will not flow freely between the radiator and the engine and that can overheat the engine uh, which in some cases okay can cause a bubbling okay and coolant overflowing from the overflow tank bottle or the radiator as well now another thing that can cause that guys if you overheated the car or if you had other symptoms that involve that could be blown head gasket okay blown head gasket uh, now the head gasket has uh, three specific purposes guys one is to keep compression in the cylinder two to make sure coolant doesn't go anywhere else but only where it's supposed to number three to make sure coolant oil don't mix make sure coolant doesn't go in the combustion chamber and coolant doesn't go to the oil compartment as well and uh, usually when gaskets fail because the car was overheated sometimes they will just fail uh, what will happen guys okay it will start pumping hot air in the cooling system and that will overheat the car and coolant will start flowing the same can happen if you have cracked cylinder head it could be a cracked cylinder head that can do that or cracked engine box so those are some of the most common ones now another thing that people need to always always check okay is the coolant temperature sensor to make sure that it's working correctly we have a video how to test coolant temperature sensor because if it's sending the wrong information to the engine computer it may not turn the radiator fan on time and that can overheat the car and you need to make sure that the thermostat is working correctly i will first start with bleeding the cooling system check coolant level bleed cooling system replace thermostat test coolant temperature sensor okay and then go from there you just hope it's not a head gasket cylinder head or engine block hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time